In this video I will explain the difference between NumPy function mgrid and meshgrid which are intended for making n-dimensional coordinate arrays for n-dimensional field calculations. Ok, so let's start from loading libraries and then create our domain. So start point will be at 0 for every coordinate and then for first axis we will take 3 points, for second axis 4 points, for third axis 5 points and 6 points for the fourth axis but step will be different to see the difference between axes. And then we will start mgrid for one coordinate. This is actually not very interesting and the result is very predictable. So three points and the shape should be just three. So, but mgrid is not intended to use for one uh, coordinate. Okay, let's consider the two-dimensional case. So now we've got uh, x and y axis, or axis 0 and 1, and the shape will be 3 and 4. So what does it mean? It means that we've got uh, y, which show y value in every point, and x contain x value in every point. So from this two array we can make pairs for every coordinate grid. For example, if we join them together with command vstack from numpy, but we need to reshape them to make them linear. So reshape with minus one. And then we will have pairs of uh, coordinates for every point in our grid. Okay, now let's try to plot the graph. So we will plot all these coordinates on the graph and see how they distributed. So we will create a plot just to make it easier for three-dimensional case. And we need to label every axis to clearly understand what it is on our plot. Then we will show all our dots with uh, function scatter. And let's see. Okay, we will see dot in every grid of our cell. That's it. So now we understand what this mgrid doing. Now let's try to do mesh grid function. So first of all, we need to create list for every axis with command lean space. But uh, we need to give start point, end point, and step size. Okay, at the moment it's failed to be similar because we include last point, which we do not include. Okay, in this case we need to exclude last point with command end point false and also do the type int to have integer values. Okay, looks very similar now to this row. And let's create the same for y axis. So the same but for the second coordinates. And now let's apply to mesh grid function to create xm and ym arrays. Uh, so the parameter is x list and y list. And let's plot it again with the same procedure. As you can see, the result is absolutely the same. But if we check the content, it will be the same but oriented differently from mgrid. Okay, let's uh, see the shape. And the shape is 4, 3 instead of 3, 4 like for mgrid. So the difference in the shape and we can change it by transposition of this matrix. And then we can compare the two matrices with the numpy function array equal. So, of course, we can see that two array are different, but when we transpose one of them, they start to be equal. So, which means that if we want to move from M grid to mesh grid in two-dimensional space, we should use uh, transposition of the matrix. And now let's consider three-dimensional case. So we will plot M grid in 3D uh, space. So first of all, we will use the same procedure, but we will slightly modify it by adding subplot projection 3D and label X, Y, and Z axis, and also use three coordinates. And let's see what's happened. Okay, now you can see proper three-dimensional plot with uh, data in every grid of our cell. Let's have a look what is inside X-ray. It contains data aligned by X, Y, and Z axis with the shape 3, 4, 5. And now let's compare it with mesh grid results. Just copy again this code and add Z axis to make it three dimensional. So and let's print the results. As you can see, X axis is aligned by Y, X and Z axis with the shape uh, 4, 3, 5. So the first two axes again are mixed with each other. And let's compare with y and z axis, and the shape is as well the same, y, x, and z axis. And now let's compare uh, mesh grid and m grid results with the array equal. As you can see, they are not equal. But if we do swap axis 1 and 0, then we will have the same results. 
So let's try it for different axes, x, y, and z. Okay, this result is equal now. So now I've got a guess that if we swap zero and first axis, the mesh grid will turn into M grid, or M grid will turn into M mesh grid. And let's compare it with uh, four dimensional space to prove our results. So we have uh, four dimension from M grid and mesh grid and use again the same function, array equal to compare them. And uh, as you can see with swap axis, they are equal. And again, in the shape 4, 3, 5, 6, you can see that axis 0 and axis 1, or two first axes, are swapped with each other. And now let's see how it will be organized in the file, if you read it from the file. So it's easy to see on the three-dimensional grid, and for M-grid, you will see uh, it's constantly, X is constantly grow. Y will uh, grow with quite big period, and Z will grow with very small period. This is very important to understand. And if we compare it is with mesh grid, you can see that for mesh grid, X is growing with average period, Y is grow constantly, and Z have very small period. When you understand this completely, you will easily read any files from other program into M-grid or mesh-grid structure. If you like this video, please make like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!